Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, I'm proud to bring you the all new 2011 Lexus CT200H. And this is gonna be a full in-depth tour of the CT. We'll start it up, show the engine, go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Lexus of Las Vegas, in Las Vegas, Nevada. And so, without further ado, let's go and start it up, let it run. This vehicle does come equipped with a smart key access system by just keeping the key fob in your pocket. If you notice the little indentations on each of the handles, just tap your finger to it. One beep indicates locking. And after waiting a few seconds, just touch the back of the handle, and that unlocks the vehicle. It's the Fire Agate Pearl exterior, with black leather interior. It still has some of the factory plastic and tape on it. it does have keyless ignition. Just put your foot on the brake, wait for the little light to turn green, hit the button to start. Right now we're running on electric power. And then the gasoline engine kicks in shortly after. It's a full leather wrap steering wheel with side bolster and grip extensions. It's got a continuously variable automatic transmission controlled right here. Got the shifter knob removed at the moment for security at the dealership. Pull over and down for a drive, over and up for reverse. This vehicle also comes equipped with a braking energy regeneration system. While you're in drive, you can click it over down into B, then put it into park. Basically what that does, the energy regeneration system works constantly whenever you put your foot on the brake to stop it generates electricity to power the battery and the electronics of the vehicle. If you didn't want to use the brakes, well, constantly while going down like a steep grade in the mountains or so, put it down to B mode, and it almost acts as if the vehicle is shifting into a lower gear. So the engine itself is actually braking in a form that generates the power that way. Also, this little control wheel type here is for your different driving modes, as well as full electric vehicle mode. Right now, we're in normal. You twist it to the left, puts it in eco mode, and twist it to the right, brings up an RPM gauge. Keep that little bit of an extra sporty feel to it. And let's go ahead and on the headlights. It does have automatic lights, fog lights, as well as the hazards. All four windows are fully automatic. And let's check out the exterior, shall we? That beeping basically lets you know that the car has lost detection of the proximity key fob. Projector headlamps. The signature blue trimmed L logo for the hybrid cars. It's a fantastic quality metallic finish. Seventeen inch alloy wheels, Michelin tires, it's based on the HS250H sedan and shares the same powertrain with the Toyota Prius. sunroof. As well as LED integrated turn signal mirrors. Pop the fuel cap. It's got a place to put your fuel cap. LED tail lamps. Rear 
rear spoiler with a third brake light. It's your rear backup camera. The CT200H is powered by a 1.8 liter four cylinder paired with an electric motor and generator. Dual overhead cam and 16 valve with variable valve timing. Total horsepower output is about 134 at 5200 RPM with 142 foot pounds of torque at 4000 RPM. It's front wheel drive, four wheel independent suspension, 11.9 gallon fuel tank, with an EPA estimated miles per gallon rating on regular unleaded gas of 43 city, 40 highway. You can probably just barely hear the system, but it's running on electric power at the moment. Padded door panels with color contrast stitching. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors are located next to your illumination switch. Storage down below. Fuel cap and hood release. Fully powered leather driver's seat with side airbags and power lumbar. Embroidered floor mats and a manual tilting telescoping steering wheel. And let's go ahead and see how it sounds. Also another neat little feature is that while in economy mode, the gauge over here is lit up blue, as well as the driving mode switch. Twist it over to sport mode, it lights up red, and the backlighting on the gauge also becomes red. There is a low rev limiter on hybrid vehicles. When idling, the gasoline engine only runs when it needs to charge the battery, otherwise the vehicle runs completely on electric power. Press the pedal. And then the engine's activated. Now it's stopped. Pretty neat little system. Has a dual zone automatic climate control, control from this panel here, and it also shows up on your screen up above. Cabin air filter, AC, dual zone climate, recycling vent, your different zones, Fan speed, as I showed you a second ago, automatic mode, front and rear defrost, as well as rear defrost. This CT has the premium package, which includes the 10 speaker premium Lexus audio system. You also have full navigation. And instead of having a touch screen, it's controlled by this mouse in the middle. Basically, you have a little cursor on the screen. And by moving the mouse around, it works just like a computer. Climate control information. Same functions as the setup down below. Back to your menu. Destination. There's also a set of arrows up and down here. If you have a list, you can kind of scroll through it. I'll show that in just a second. Vehicle setup personalizable settings. By using those little arrows, you can scroll down the menus. Vehicle settings, maintenance schedules, information, hands-free Bluetooth telephone, with an integrated dialing pad fuel consumption data,
map data, calendar for inputting appointments and so on and so forth. Through your XM satellite radio, you also have real-time weather updates, weather map, as well as sports updates, stocks, Lexus Insider, which is a complimentary system. Every now and then the vehicle will be sent updates, as well as educational things to explain specific features of the vehicles. This particular one already has the rain sensing wiper demonstration, climate control, as well as a little bit of information on Lexus Insider. Hello, I'm Mark Templin, General Manager of Lexus. You're listening to Lexus Insider, a complimentary opt-in service included. All with new Lexus, Lexus vehicle. vehicles also have For this system. For those of you that have already experienced Lexus Insider, we have some updates to share with you. And for those of you that are new to the... And back to the main screen. Audio controls. We also have an integrated voice command system. After the beep, please say a command such as go home, destination, phone, audio, information, or command list. Audio. Audio. Say a command such as select channel number, select channel name, select channel type, or command list. Select channel name. Select channel name. Say the channel name. 90s on 9. 90s on 9. Right also home. down below, command list. Phone. Command list. Command list. Say a command such as show dining icons or pause guidance. And it displays all of your available commands. They're all located within the system as well as your owner's manual. Sound adjustment. And navigation. You also have your display controls and another enter button on the side here. Stitch pattern over the speedometer, as well as carrying on down the center console. Heated seats for the driver and passenger, various radio controls, tilting the screen, as well as opening and closing. Cup holders. Padded console, storage down below, full power sunroof, one touch automatic, garage home link, SOS emergency roadside assistance through Lexus, sunglass container. Alrighty. Gonna shut it down. Very nifty vehicle. Let's check out the rest of it, shall we? Same padded trim. Got a modest rear seat. Maybe a little bit tight for taller passengers. They are comfortable, nice and supportive. Good visibility out the side, your side airbags, coat hooks.
does have a modest amount of rear space. Cargo net. Embroidered floor mat. You also have your rear subwoofer. Cargo cover. As well as down below, you have extra storage. With first aid kit. Back seats do fold down. Just press these little buttons here and pull forward. And it opens up the cargo space quite nicely. Has a manual passenger seat. Nice flowing dash design. Two tier glove box. Definitely a nice blend between sport and hybrid. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour on the 2011 Lexus CT200H. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.